Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies and a new series, this time starring cultists, by the way, today's beverages. A very nice traditional cup of tea, very nice indeed. So in a previous series, we were going through the new conquest mode, which includes diplomacy, and we were talking to our neighbours, getting to know them, and obviously blowing up their airships. And it was an interesting back and forward, and overall, just a much better experience, because of obviously that um, extra dynamic. And it brings in a whole new element when it comes to role-playing, as in, you can play the good guy, the bad guy, someone who's indifferent, an isolationist, someone wants to take everybody over, and naturally, one of the sort of extremes of those is playing the cultists which the agent were my here and it says unlocks cultist technologies and victory and there you are so we're going to play as a cultist faction and see exactly what the deal is when it comes to winning as these guys probably summoning some big bad and then job done we need to have a name for this one so we'll go for um Coltington, and let's probably start the game there. We've got default map size, default difficulty, land size, etc. I was going to knock the difficulty up a notch, but as we're most likely going to be building all of our ships and vehicles from scratch, at least that's my intention, uh, we may have to bend those rules a little bit at times. Yeah, I don't want to be having to build all of those and dealing with a lot harder opponent while we're still testing <laughs> the designs. So let's see how this one goes. Just going to check the edit arms here. Yes, it's definitely a worm. I unlock the coolest technologies and victory. So start the game. It's going to generate the map and then we'll see what we have to face off. Are you a hard worker? Do you good with animals? Do you possess a rugged... <laughs> okay. Uh, and oh, immediately. This is not ideal. Hmm, interesting. So... <clears throat> We have been put as the cultists on the left-hand side here. This is Coltington, and we are in the Sea of Eyes. We also have a well our main area here, Coltington, followed by um, Lonlin and Hatwick, and then to our south we have Rizga. Let's have a quick check on what they are like. They are a bully, and they are weaker than us. So immediately that means we can. Well, it doesn't mean, but we're probably going to head that way. And I'm noticing we also have a nice bit of land ship action possibly here a lot of people want to see some land ships and that's what we're gonna have there right okay so we need to pick a technology so I will do that so over to research here and if we're gonna go for hmm if we are gonna go for maybe hmm yeah if we are gonna go for land ships do you want to do that we've also got to here um this is the cultist tree here so we've got um can we select either or have we got both ah we've got that one there we've got secret signs and rituals minus 30 percent enemy spy action success we can also go for plus 30 the next one is cultist crew maintenance and construction speed after that it reveals ritual sites sick bears can revive the dead which is the secrets of death awakening which is some of the kraken and then finally <laughs> the final uh, this is the final ritual, final ritual victory. I assume going that way, we've got a lot. It's not just you can go down here and then you win. I'm assuming there's going to be more stuff involved, although I have actually no idea. So, what do you want to go with in terms of, in terms of our, hmm, and our research? Pressurized suspendium dust tanks, saw blades, heavy wooden armor, shipyard and sponsons, imperial cannon, deck guns and telescopes. We've got rockets there. Um, harpoon guns and aerial hazards. I think, actually, of all the things, uh, I mean, mechanical tentacles would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, saw blade, that's not too bad. Uh, let's go with saw blade. So we're going to go with articulated machinery, one year, five months and 12 days. Do we have any other cultists on the board? Let's have a quick look here. And I'm seeing, oh, an evil conqueror there. We'll start from the top left, actually. <laughs> uh, so we've got a revolutionary. Tends to, free the, uh, tends to free the world, likes other revolutionaries. There's a cooperative. We've got a bully, evil conqueror, uh, another conqueror, contender. What's the difference between an evil conqueror and a conqueror? It tends to conquer the world with no regard to reputation. And a conqueror is, well, the lesser of that. Uh, conqueror, conqueror, conqueror. Another bully there. A bully, conqueror, con contender. So one... Two. Oh, that's a contender. One, two, three. Three conquerors. One evil conqueror. We got three bullies. 
one co-author of one revolutionary and a couple of contenders and then ourselves okay so we're going to send over a spy to this area and it also says we can build a port yes we can build a port i'm going to build it in here just to start to generate some more money so we'll close that um don't need to do about that can we build a port here we can build a port let's just let's get our economy up and running and it says we have a trade treaty with this guy i mean these are a bully i don't really want to be doing too much talking with people realistically uh we can have a non-aggression pact with who is this speltford where are they over on there non-aggression pact um okay let's have a non-aggression pact that sounds like a good plan with them their revolutionary tends to free the world likes other revolutionaries so we'll see how that one goes and i'm strong enough to declare war on this area but i don't think we're going to do that what we are going to do though is design landship so these are the weapons we have we have not many weapons at all cannons grenades muskets rifles etc we have in terms of propulsion we have tracks and large tracks let's build a mini tank shall we um do you want to build a mini tank yeah i think we do want to build a mini tank so command and crew we now have cultist quarters yeah so a cramped living space for 15 cultist crew not quite as fast and effective as sailors but cheaper so oh and a cultist cell which is crammed living space for five of them all right fair enough so we might not need to have the cultist quarters let's instead go for our weapons cannon one mm, maybe one two three cannons i think i'll put them a bit further forward three cannons obviously we need ammo so we're gonna go for an ammo store i don't know if i need i don't know if i need ammo stores actually or do we just go with a smaller one there's a cargo bay that's to do with travel which we didn't really touch on in the previous series small ammo store there small ammo store there i'm gonna bring them back just a little bit just so in between we can have a fire extinguisher most likely we'll have a cockpit somewhere we'll have a way to go up and down so ladders we need somewhere to move so that would be a small coal store and we don't even have flat cannons i'd like to put a flat cannon on this thing but i don't think it's going to happen realistically armor is wood we can go with steel wall but we'll stick with wooden armor i mean technically if we just connect those up do we need no we don't need all that many we could probably just give it a bit of crew minimum crew is five we don't need crewman quarters cultist cell what's the crew one say crew specific uh specialty trained to operate large ground machines not fond of heights but they don't mind vibrations that's crewman quarters hmm so better than sailors air sailors but we're gonna go with cultists because when we get the ability to resurrect our crew then well yeah that uh, should be all right let's go for maybe a supply hatch i think yeah supply hatch just use wooden for now and that's technically a legit vessel it's not good but it's legit so what i'm gonna do is try and cheapen this out a bit by bringing stuff back here like that that is a small ammo store i definitely want another cannon in like that that'll go up to there crew five recommended is actually 11 so what i'll do is i'll get rid of that put a cultist cell in there no quarters 
then that gives us 15 crew. So we've overcrewed it a little, but, you know, not too uh, hideous extreme. Is there any better way of connecting this up? Or are we just going to have to have a corridor with ladder there? Going to put that there, that there. Actually move that back. Like that. And that's a legit tank. Hmm. It's got three cannons. And that's it. How much would a crow's nest be? 15. If we were to have a crow's nest. Is it 10% accuracy? It's... Ten increase accuracy by 10. Right. I could potentially put one in. I think I will. But what we'll do is we'll move this back, put that there, move the crow's nest forward. The reason for that is if this blows up, at least it's not going to take out, hopefully, that thing. Um, and I will do that. Alright, let's just... I mean, there's no point really looking at the drag coefficients. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I could move this back, technically, everything back by one. Uh, and that might be better. It actually is more aesthetically pleasing. So, there's your water. Water's good. Ammunition is not too bad. Repair tools, we don't have any now. We don't have repairing either. Pathing is... <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> it's far from my deal, isn't it? Because if this blows up, we can't get anywhere. We need maybe a way to traverse. If we're to do that, at least we can get up and round that way as well. Mm. I'm just going to accept that that's, that's a thing. Okay, so this is the first vehicle we've made here. Um, Actually, what I'll do as well. I don't need to, but I'm going to put in these bits just to sort of stop it clipping these edges and there's a bit more, they've got the slope there. So we're going to rename this thing, it's currently called Lily of the Valley, um, not ideal. So it's going to be CU for cultists and, or is CT better? Mm, I like CU. So we're going to say CU and... <laughs> see you where though um see you what do you want to call this i mean it is just a mini tank that's just we're not naming it like we do our other vessels which is yeah mammals and land things and anything that flies or whatever it was this is going to be a little bit simpler than that save the design sb badger elk fox yeah it's all ground based stuff mini tank technically we can build it um yeah might as well start building it so long pause it after all that, we have frost worms, beautiful hide of a beautiful hide. A be the beautiful hide of the dangerous frost worm is much prized. Minus five on arrest in each city and forty percent income from trade treaties. Well, we don't really going to have that. I can make a trade treaty actually with this guy. Well, why not? Diplomacy, make offer. That's a bully. I don't really want to be making. Too many trade tr treaties, but I guess we're probably going to have to do some. Obviously, eventually they're going to jump on us. We're a cultist. <laughs> they're not going to like what we're doing. Uh, let's have a look at this thing here. So that's their defense. Loads of rifles and a cannon. So we're going to need a fair amount of... Ooh, that's a cool vessel. That's the abscess. One, two, three, four, five, six cannons by the look of it. Big suspendium chambers as well. All right, okay. Your spine lubber is now established, and I can view the city. Yep, we've seen that. But I don't know what they've got here. They are weaker than us, apparently, but obviously if we were attacking, then it's going to be a bit different. Speaking of attacking, looks like this guy, Kubus, is moving in, and they've taken out whatever that was. And they are a conqueror. Intent to conquer the world. And diplomacy here. Cooperative. So my idea, my intention, is to take out take out what I can on the mainland here. Let's say the mainland. This. All this stuff here. Because we have land connections. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Is he going to get there in time? Four days? Three days? I think he is. Just and... Oh, he's been defeated. So this guy doesn't have anything. 
Declare war. Let's get it done. Lubbard also has a spire of learning. Built by the old empire, still inhabited by a flock of aging scholars, their brilliance is unparalleled. Plus 15% research. I'm going to recall the spy and then send the spy. I'm going to talk to this guy. He's a conqueror. Send delegation on. We might be nice to them. We're not going to be. <laughs> so. That's changed. I can demanding, demand a tribute from this guy if need be. I have a feeling this Cubis is going to attack Rizgut. Here's our fight here. Start the fight maybe. Uh, shots fired from left to right are less accurate. Okay. Start the fight immediately. Move to the other side. <coughs> Might as well. <laughs> so here's our vessel. We didn't build this. We got it for free. So I'm going up and over this sort of castle looking thing. They do have a cannon there. Followed by lots of rifles. Behind they have just less rifles. They have fewer rifles. Turn round. There we go. And there's the volley fire. Rapid fire. Oh, sorry, aim fire put on. I'm going to swap around. Going to put to aim fire. No, switch it from aim fire to rapid fire. Get there at the end. Because, quite frankly, this shouldn't take long. And depending on what happens here, and how damaged this thing is, we're going to see if we can attack their main city. Attack the main city? Should be alright. They're really burning, and we are exploding. Ground ship. A bit, bit of an aggressive <laughs> landing, but hey-ho. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much of an issue. People also ask me if uh, we're aware of the direct control. Yes, of course. Um, you can direct control the vessel, and you can move it up and down and fire and stuff like that. You fire in different modules. I, it's pretty fun. Um, we may use some of all that during the campaign. We've got gentle takeover, brutal uh, takeover, pillage. Um, I think we're going to go for maybe a brutal takeover. And we need to repair this thing. But we can repair it here, so we'll have to send it back. What have they got here? View City, they have... One defensive structure, one, two, three, four forward cannons and three rifles. Rear, they have one, two, three, four cannons and three rifles. So it's it's just a brick. Okay, it is possible that we can take that over. Okay, going to head back because, well, it's going to take some time to head back and repair. I can send spell for the ultimatum. Oh, good grief. Yeah, look at that. They're, so, they're going down. Looks like the Conqueror is doing basically what their namesake is. Or their title suggests. So we now have the Spire of Learning. It should be in the Empire screen. Bonuses. Spire of Learning plus 15% research. Immediately then, we've got a good little bonus there. There's our mini tank. It is in place. Let's see how fast it is. It's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible at all. Uh, we could build a temple, Grand Temple and all of the uh, Worm Eye, plus 10 research income and minus unrest. No, it's plus unrest. I'm still going to build one. And build land ship. Uh, we don't have, we're just shy of enough, just shy for what the mini tank needs. Wow, look at that. Got some speed on it. And this is back. Repair the vessel. Going to take a, t a bit of time to build that. Tell you what I'll do. I'll change the order so I'll repair that thing I'm going to build land ship mini tank go change the order of building um, a diplomatic offer from Exica which is there and we have a defensive pact and we I pay tribute how about how about no how, how about no basically so we don't have any supply to get there. It's going to take a while to to get them supplies. That's all right. This guy is rocked up. Nine out of nine supplies. It's only four supplies per week. It's quite a small vehicle. And there we go. So... Mm, 
on enough to get there. So I've sent another tank over there. Because I think two tanks in this thing will be able to take over Riz uh, Rizgut. And how are we getting on with this guy? Similar strength, currently at peace. But what's he... He's got trade treaty with him. And at war with Rizgut and them over there. Okay. I'm just hoping that these two guys don't get too <clears throat> diplomatically attached. Because quite frankly, we may have some issues there. Build land ship. Once again, mini tank. Okay. Put it higher up in the build queue. So quick to build. Um... It's so desperate for peace that you can demand tribute in exchange. I don't want tribute. This guy wants diplomatic... Uh, they want non-aggression. They're a bully. But they want to cancel a trade treaty. Um, but I don't. Frankly. So, non-aggression pact. Cancel trade treaty. Remove that. Receive some cash. So we still have the trade treaty, and I receive some money. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, I should point out we are being deliberately exploitative, uh, exploitative here. That's the whole point. We are playing cultists. We're not the good guys. So, let's move here. I'm going to attack. This guy's going to war over there. That's a very interesting move. I'm going to build a port here. By the time we get here, we should have enough to attack this. Oh, they're building a ship. They're building a cormorant. So we need to get there sooner rather than later with all of our ships. Go. Uh, bring as much as possible. No! Stop, 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 stop. We don't have enough. Turn around. We need to bring everything. Um, Age, Age of Exploration is now at hand. Send out expeditions of ships to find knowledge and treasure. Oh, cool. That, that sounds good. Um... There we go. All, all of us are moving. We don't have enough to return, but we can limp back. And let's see how we get on. We're going to get there before the Cormorant. So I'm hoping that we'll be in a good position. So, apparently combat resolution is defeat. I'm going to start the fight, and let's see if that actually is a thing. I'm going to go for aimed fire on all of our things. It's raining. Tanks are firing. Rifles on them are obviously highly accurate. So we may get closer. Mm, move forward. Go. Move forward. Go. There they are. Crashing through all of the trees. <laughs> there goes our mini tanks. Um, they are suffering a bit more damage than I would have liked. But hey ho. Move a little bit further forward. May as well. This is going to come down over. Just in case we do fall out the sky. They've got some explosions. Oh, secondary explosions. They've lost three cannons. They have three rifles and one cannon remaining. This is good. Um, ammo on the mini tanks is nearly at half. Yeah, I think we should have probably put in the bigger ammo. But if we do a version two, this is the, these are cheap. First time we ever used them. But they're cheap. So I guess the idea is see what happens. If we make a version 2, we'll literally make a version 2. We won't have, we won't keep, we'll keep the first one, we'll just make version 2. Um, and use whatever we need to. And that's a victory. And job done. Um, brutal takeover. Wow. Did not expect that. We have a diplomatic delegation from Ol Kanak, bearing moon glazy pies and suspendium uh, there's this guy, yes. Yes, okay, fair enough. So the question is, do we want to attack this guy? Diplomatic is peace. If I was to attack them, they don't have any... They're at war with them and they don't have any defensive pacts. Okay. Similar strength, 
but they are attacking up here. I don't really hold out much hope for that. I think they're gone. And if I attack there, then they're going to come down to wars and... Uh, what defences do I have? Oh yeah, not much at all. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's just unpause this. Um, I'm going to put a garrison in Lubbard. And we might do something similar here. So we'll repair that vehicle and we don't actually don't need to do anything else. That's repaired now. So have they successfully taken that over? Yes, they have. Research is complete for articulated machinery. We've got extra construction speed or cultist crew maintenance. We're going to go with cultist crew maintenance reduction. And that should be good. And I guess we could build a land ship. Build another one. They seem to be pretty good. They do seem to be pretty good. So, they've taken over there. The unrest of Cultington can be reduced. So, yeah, we do have some unrest because of the temple. Unrest is 23. Not too much to deal with. Market would be nice as well. So, I'm not too sure where we go from here. Ah, they're now at war with them. Interesting. Right, that means we can jump in. Let's go. We are not messing around. <laughs> we are not messing around. We are attacking Cubus. They're up, they're up north. They're taking all that. Oh, foreign agents have done something. Oh, what a shame, never mind. This guy wants a... A defensive pack that is not going to happen. Flat out rejecting that one. Uh, start the fight here. This is against that defensive structure. Everybody is on aimed fire. I don't really want to move them around too much because of all these trees. They're just going to cause so much damage to themselves. Or rather, the one at the front is going to receive a lot of damage. I will bring the airships further forward though because I might as well. They are rocking. Actually, the rocking rifles, cannons, and I think that's a, is that a grape shot or something? Either way. Move these forward. We don't need a lot of coal for these things. They don't move very far. But... Hmm, that seems to have worked out. They've got rifles left. Which are highly accurate. And... That out because that's, that's, yeah, that's a game set and match, that one. Okay. Victory. Brutal takeover once again. Go back here to defences. Repair the defences. Even though it wasn't great, it was just good enough. Keep attacking. They are sending defenders, and I don't know what they're sending. Trade treaty with who? Trade treaty with who? View. Them. I mean, the guys have got no defences that don't reject. Actually, I probably should have done. Now that I think of it. Ah, well. What a shame. Never mind. Garrison. Oh. That's what they've got here. Alright. Move that up there. So they have sent this thing towards us. That's got board vessel written all over it, hasn't it? <laughs> It really does. Um, automatic combat resolution is victory. Your loss is none. I'll accept the automatic result. That's the first time I think we've we've done that. So, yeah. We'll keep going. Garrison there. And we'll get a garrison there. We're going to call it there for now, actually. Save it there for now. That's been a bit of airships conquer the skies. <clears throat> Kick the door off the hinges with this attack, didn't we? Um, <laughs> the idea was to play cultists. And attack with vessels that we create in the series. We've not done that. We've done the tertiary uh, quest, I guess, that I never really mentioned, of try to use as much land ships as possible, which, yeah, we seem to be working out with it. This guy, I'm hopefully going to be able to take out. He probably will survive up here, because he's got two areas, and if they just attack Coltington, we're going to be in so much bother, because nothing can get there in time. But we have able, we're able to take over, yeah, one, two, three, four areas, one of them being a big city. 
Unrest is 61, though. Hmm. <laughs> we should probably, probably do something about that. Um, is there anything I can do about it? I'm not too sure. Security services, probably. Yeah, we'll keep going with the promise of liberation. Extra a reduction in crew maintenance. And yeah. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. Next episode, hopefully, we won't be destroyed. As always, hope you have enjoyed this episode. Comment us in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.